So what was it like seeing St. Jude's hand or bone fragment? I was actually a volunteer at St. Basil um, when it was the veneration of the relic of St. Jude the Deus. Um, this is not Judas Iscariot, this is um, the other Judas. <laughs> he had like one line in John where he was like, uh, he says something along the lines of like, what do you mean like, you're coming through us and not from the whole world or whatever. Um, forget the actual fucking line, but like that's generally the gist of it. I promise you, I fucking study decently. Um, I'll be able to recall the lines like a lot better one day. But I just had this overwhelming feeling of like peace come afterwards. So like when I was walking in, I was actually really annoyed. Like I was cussing my mom out. Like I've had a really rough week because uh, of a really rough weekend. Uh, my older sister is an alcoholic, and I've had to deal with that and. This last weekend was when it was really proven to me that this issue is really bad and that it needs to be addressed. I don't care about talking about this, like, publicly, like, it's it's fine, you know, like, it's a personal issue, yeah, but, like, I don't, I hide what I want to hide and I talk about what I want to talk about and I want to talk about this. So, like, I've been really fucked up over that and um, I went in to see St. Jude, and, like, I just kind of actually, I mean, I can't share everything because I actually felt, you know, the spirit speaking to me, spirit of St. Jude specifically, not, like, the Holy Spirit or anything, more focused on St. Jude as, like, a person, um, felt that, and I immediately did feel, like, a lightning in my mood, like, I'm still definitely burnt out, I still definitely, like, can't go to the gym tomorrow or Saturday or, like, anything, but I definitely feel a lot better, um, and I feel a lot more hopeful. It's interesting this happens on, like, the new moon, which is, like, supposed to be a time of manifestation. And St. Jude is, like, the saint of impossible causes. And I feel like I'm dealing with a lot of impossible stuff right now, mainly my mental health and getting myself back together. And, you know, dealing with someone who has an addiction. So, uh, I don't know. I think, like, it was just really also wonderful seeing people go in with the relics and bring in their own statues to touch them to the relics and everything. And, um really reminded me of like kind of buddhist stuff like what tibetan buddhists kind of do like with the with their items and how they venerate things and it just made me happy that like you know these conduits of energy are kept alive in catholicism you know abrahamic religion didn't completely destroy this idea of like you know an item holds on to energy right like the bone fragment of a guy that knew jesus is pretty important and like we shouldn't just not have respect for that we need to actually have respect for that right because that you know, has a physical conduit back to Jesus, and I got to see it today, and I got to, like, be a part of, you know, kind of taking care of it as a volunteer, so that's, like, really an insane, massive honor that I don't fucking deserve, and it's interesting that this happens after, like, one of the worst, like, weeks for me emotionally, like, I still feel like I've been hit by a train, I still feel burnt out, but I feel a little more hopeful, I don't feel like I'm dying anymore, you know? Like, I almost had a mental breakdown last night. I almost didn't make it to the volunteering, but I was able to make it in for, like, the last couple hours because I was going through, like, an emotional, like, thing. But, um, yeah, that was that was my experience. Um, It's pretty strong, but I also felt myself just kind of grounding and just, like, being really, like, up in the air because I was really not in the ideal mental state to go in. But, like, you know, what is the ideal mental state? Like, maybe that was the ideal mental state. Maybe I did have to come to St. Jude feeling completely defeated and broken. It's really interesting that he's this patron saint of impossible causes, right? And I went in, like, feeling like everything was just impossible. Like, my sleep is fucked up right now, and it's really fucking me up. Sorry, the night before, and the two nights before, I fucking tried to sleep, like, <gasps> hiccuping. I, I fucking tried to go to sleep at, like, midnight, and, like, I couldn't go to sleep. I took my melatonin, and then I would just wake up at, like, 3.45, like, after tossing and turning, until 5 a.m., like, I just wake up, like, midday just feeling like garbage, feeling like ass, you know what I mean? Like, and it's, like, I fixed my sleep before, but this time just feels really bad, and I'm trying to box, I'm trying to, like, do things, and I want to live my life, I want to wake up, like, at a decent hour, like, I don't need to wake up at, like, 8 a.m. or 7 a.m., but, like, shit, if I could at least wake up at 10, that would be great, but, like, it's, it's just fucked up right now, so it's, like, I'm just battling, like, uh, just, like, my own body, you know, my health, and it just feels really impossible, so probably that was the right time for me to see St. Jude, and I hope that my relationship with the saint grows, um, it's really such an honor, and I'm gonna do this again soonish, but, um, it's, uh, it's been rough, and it's a good time that's 
it was a good time for St. Jude to come into my life in such a tangible way. You know, I got to see the bone fragment of a guy who was friends with Jesus. Like, that's pretty crazy. So, um, yeah, God is good. And I hope things get better. And I'm glad that we do this stuff in Catholicism. It is pretty weird and kind of metal and gnarly, but, like, that's what's what I like about it. So, yeah, it's like, Catholics are weird. I love it, you know? We're the only Christian sect that really stays super weird aside from the Orthodox and like their monk skulls and everything. Like I think that stuff is really cool um, because it's like real natural religion, not like alien Abrahamic bullshit. Um, I think that certain Abrahamic religions are too ridiculously strict. And if you study any Abrahamic religion, you probably know like certain strains that I'm speaking of. I'm not going to name them, but you know, if you know anything, you probably, um, could probably guess. <laughs> But, I don't know, I, I really liked being around the bone fragment of St. Jude today. And it was really helpful because things happened really hard. But, alright, I'm going to hop off. Bye!